In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your text for today, John 18, verse 27. Again, Peter denied knowing Jesus, and at that moment, a rooster began to crow. The lie to be addressed is when the father of lies says, witnessing is too high a price. I'm happy to say the last few years have actually been a pretty good time to be a Michigan football fan. The seasons have not ended with national championships, but they have ended with conference titles and bragging rights over our rivals. Now such was definitely not the case when I was teaching high school classes in Michigan. Those were some dark days for Michigan football. And my students were only too happy to point out, let me know, every time my team suffered an embarrassment. It got to the point where I didn't even want to talk about my love for my team because it was the easiest way to avoid the ridicule. Now Peter found himself in a similar circumstance after Jesus was arrested. Only for Peter the stakes were much higher. He too was at risk for ridicule or possibly worse because he was a follower of Jesus. And so when he was asked whether or not he was a follower of Jesus, he denied it three times, just as Jesus said he would. Peter bought into Satan's lie. Witnessing is too high a price. It's better just to keep quiet. But thanks be to God that Jesus did not keep quiet. Jesus did not hide from his calling as Messiah. He endured the mockery and scorn of the crowds, and he died for them anyway. He died for you. And he died for me. And his death gives us hope. He gives us confidence. The father of lies will huff and puff and threaten us with ridicule and persecution, but he cannot blow down the house of the Lord, which is exactly where you live, safe in the protection of your Savior. So be confident in who you are as a child of God, and be willing to tell others in order that they too might join you in the comfort of his love. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, keep me from denial. Keep me from silence when it comes to you. As you have given much, allow me to thank you much. In your name, amen. The Leaving the Lies activity for today. Think of someone you consider a good example of standing up for Jesus. And maybe send them a note of thanks or encouragement, letting them know the impact that they've had on you. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you today and every day. Amen.